I was attracted to the Center for Truth and Justice because it became evident during the 44-day war that there were heinous crimes being committed, human rights violations, beheadings on videos, white phosphorus dropping from the sky. These were not simple acts of war. And the side of me that deals with evidence was attracted to help teach the Armenian generation, the Artsakh generation, of how to collect evidence so close in time to these atrocities. We are starting early, we're doing the advocacy early, we're collecting direct evidence so that whatever misinformation is floating anywhere can be contradicted with direct stories from the victims themselves. The maternal side of my family is from Artsakh. My paternal side of the family is from Western Armenia. My great-grandmother was a genocide survivor. She was orphaned. After the war, she got married. Her husband tried to go back to Western Armenia to help the sister escape, and the Turks cut off her husband's head. My great-grandmother's story will never be heard. There's no audiovisual recording of what she went through. That is why the Center for Truth and Justice is so important, because we are collecting audiovisual evidence of what happened to the people of Artsakh. We pair um, each attorney with a set of law students. The law students in Armenia and Artsakh are doing all of the evidence gathering themselves. They're the ones that make contact with the victims. They're the ones that set up a time to go and meet with them. They're the ones that prepare the forms. They do the interviews themselves. What CFTJ does is we support them in that process. We help prepare them so that they can go and to collect the testimony and collect the evidence. I personally was in Armenia and I went into the field and took students with me. These law students that we had been training for months on how to take an interview and what to say, what not to say, how to ask questions and approach a witness, and they were learning from this process. CFTJ introduced first of its kind internship. Non-Armenian or law students from Colombia and Harvard were able to travel to Armenia and work with Armenian law students, with attorneys in Armenia, visit the homes of the people who have lost so much. With the help of our community and our specifically IT experts, we've created a unique, one-of-a-kind, searchable database that allows us to securely store and create environment to allow others to access it, other international organization, attorneys, human rights protectors to spread justice and truth, not only for this generation, for, but for generations in the future. The word justice, most people think, is a theory, it's not. We all have an inner sense of what justice feels like. And what justice is, hear our stories, stop denying them, accept them, and that's your way to get to justice, and perhaps maybe restitution one day. Մեր բակում սենց ուղակի թապված էր այդ կասետային ռումբերը։ Սրանք շատ մանր էին լինում, դրամար իրենք շատ էին վնասում մարդկանց։ Այսինքը մանր մանր սենց բեկորներ, որոնք սենց մեխերի նման սենց երևի ինչ որ դեր մեծ արագությամբ բեր որ գալիս են, իրենք շատ վնասներ են պատճառում ու սենք այդ ռումբը որ պայթում էր, ինքը սենց ահռելի սենց ծուխ էր անում այդ քիմիայի հոտը կվարոդի հոտ չէ, լի, դու զգում ես, որ ինչ-որ քիմիական բանկ ամեջ է։ The other attraction to CFTJ is the skills and the tools that they offer are not unique to being Armenian. CFTJ is expanding beyond just Armenia and Artsakh and teaching young human rights advocates how to gather the truth and testimonial evidence about war crimes wherever they take place. 
The non-governmental organization, the Center for Truth and Justice, interviewed numerous former detainees and concluded that, I quote, the interviewees were consistently subjected to beatings, humiliation, solitary confinement, improper hygiene, lack of medical care, and psychological torture. The Center for Truth and Justice needs to be a physical place, and that is the vision of the, of the center. A physical place in Armenia, where it's a place of thinking, it's a place of research, and not just for Armenians, for academicians, for human rights advocates, and politicians from all over the world to come and see the, these audiovisual testimonies, like a gallery, a gallery of truth, because ultimately the goal is tolerance, the goal is reconciliation, and you cannot get to that until you confront the truth.